Hi everyone, my name is Alina Rais. This video is going to be about a very recent experience of my life, something that happened this gone Saturday and um, how I escaped, me and my family. We escaped this scam which was going to rip us off of at least a couple of lakhs. And I want to tell you how good these people are at doing these things. So through this video, what I'm trying to do is trying to educate you on saving yourself from things and people like these. Okay, so let's get started. It happened uh, so that I got a call and there was this girl. Now, usually they end up using women for these things. They feel that women will um, be more convincing on the calls. So uh, I got a call from a girl and she, she was speaking in English and she was good. She said, ma'am, I'm calling you from a, and she named a five star hotel that I'm calling you from there. Although they were not actually calling me from the hotel. They were just using the premise. They were just using those premises to run their scam. Cause it is a hotel. If you give them the rent, they're going to give you the property for use. Now you don't have to say that you're calling from that hotel. But anyway, she said that I'm calling you from this five star hotel. Of course the name was good. So I trusted her. And then she said that ma'am, um, I'm, uh, we are giving you, um, a few free vouchers and the vouchers were very good two night and three days stay and uh, PVR tickets and ma'am they are absolutely free of cost now of course free of cost always rings a bell in my mind I mean, there's something wrong anyway PVR vouchers and a vacation and uh, ma'am there is no hidden cost I promise all you've got to do is this is a promotional event that is happening all you have to do is you have to show up with your family whoever lives with you and ma'am single entry is not allowed you will have to come with your husband you can't come alone ma'am i'm sorry but this is the rule what time would you be coming i said around 7 p.m would be good for me so she said ma'am okay my management is going to give you a confirmation call okay, okay management is going to give me a confirmation call all right i'll confirm so anyway she hung up on me and then somebody else called me up within like half an hour or so and then there was this another girl okay like i just said that uh, usually you end up receiving calls from women when things like these happen. Let's just accept it that we trust women um, earlier than men. <laughs> I don't know how it happens, but I do believe that women do have the psychological appeal that if a woman is calling you and speaking fluently and um, in a sophisticated manner, you tend to believe her. Anyway, I reached and um, they served us coffee and uh, some refreshment. And then there was this girl who showed up and she said, ma'am, these are the vouchers and these are your vouchers. And uh, let me quickly explain to you what this is about. Have you heard of this company? Now, there is this name of this company I've never heard of. And the good thing is, I'll tell you something very weird about this company. These people were using the name of a very established company, but they tweaked with the name. If I have to scam you, let's say I want to use Apple's name. Now, instead of using Apple's name, I would say this is Apple technology. So there is a small change in the name, but Apple is there. So I have that belief. Okay, it's something to do with Apple, but actually this is a separate company altogether. Hypothetical name. It's not really a company. I'm just using a name to explain the scenario to you. When you find out more about it, you get to know that it has actually nothing to do with Apple. It's just a fake or a construction that they are using they're trying to manipulate you and now they there was this pressure she explained she talked for one hour she ate our head okay going on and on and on about the awesome awesomeness of the company and how great the company is doing and how brilliant the idea is and how brilliant the products and the properties are so these were some uh, some vacation some holiday packages thing my thing was that if i was promised that I would not be asked to pay anything. I should not be asked to pay anything. Now, after explaining everything to me, there's this girl, she's sitting right there explaining to me for 50 minutes. Now I'm already under a good burden and a good debt, debt of 50 minutes of her speaking time, right? You understand when somebody has spent so much of energy on telling you something, it gets very difficult to say a no. And then she called her manager and the manager sat down with us and uh, manager was also uh, very flamboyant in his ways and uh, showing off and uh, it was just it was stupid anyway i've seen those things before so it didn't really impress me it was overall a very 
stupid thing that was going on first they tell you that uh, ma'am we will just take a few minutes of your time and uh, whatever is your decision we will not force you just hear us out okay theek hai aa gaye bol do so we started listening to them and then suddenly suddenly after explaining for 15 20 minutes 30 minutes 40 minutes 50 minutes are gone then there is this tremendous pressure tremendous that you have to buy this this is so good you have to buy this oh my god are you stupid you going to say no to this that is their tone and then finally when we said no somehow we gathered ourselves together and we embraced ourselves and our situation was going on we said no then her attitude changed and she started pushing she became so pushy and so irritating can't tell you so irritating that she even forgot that she should not use the word force for herself she is using the statement that ma'am i know right now you must be thinking that i'm forcing you into this but later on you will thank me for this now how stupid are you to accept that you're forcing me but anyway she she did that probably she wasn't trained enough to not say those words to us they were asking for 2 lakh rupees and then we said her no to 2 lakh so they came down to 1 lakh and then we said her no to 1 lakh then they came down to 4000 rupees emi <laughs> probably if we had stayed there for a little longer they would have given us money and the package together that is how it happened it was all together a very irritating and a boring episode Now I'll tell you the things that are common with these people. Things that you have to observe, and when you see those signs, you have to just run. Okay, there is no other option. Just run away. First thing is that they are going to use the name of some big star. In our case, it she was involved with our company, and she presented us with accolades and awards and stuff. All right. Next thing is that uh, they are going to give you their personal details. Now this is a very solid. psychological trick that always works the thing is that if i want to befriend you i want you to trust me what i'll do is i will open up about my personal life with you the moment i start opening up about myself to you like i have siblings my father does this my mother does this i live here the moment somebody starts doing that to you just understand this person needs something from you they're just trying to give you a personal feel personal touch then third thing that you need to look out for is useless praises now this is something that ticks me off it's so irritating now this has been something that has irritated me all my life somebody praises me for no reason oh you're looking so pretty oh i really love your kurti oh my god your jewelry is so pretty i hate those things i mean i like compliments but i like them from people i care about If you're uselessly just going on and on about my beauty and my hair and my clothes and my jewelry, there is definitely something that you need in return from me. So please do not get happy about the stupid compliments some random strangers throw at you. So this girl was going on and on about how pretty I looked, how pretty my kurti was, how pretty, uh, ma'am. Uh, though you don't need a VLCC voucher, but we are anyway giving it to you. You look so stunning. You don't need VLCC. So this is this is exactly her line. She used that at me. I am not somebody she can fool with such lines. Then they will ask you about your credit card limit. They want to find out how well uh, equipped you are, how good you are financially. They would ask you about the credit card that you carry and um, what amount of bank balance you have. They'll push you to buy EMIs. Don't do that. EMI is a big burden whenever you choose to have an EMI on you be very careful about the um, reason why you're taking that burden on yourself EMI is ruin your life another thing they are going to show you urgency okay this is only for today tomorrow you will not get this offer i promise this is only for today this is a table offer run away when somebody uses that language with you then they are going to show you fake reviews she opened up a site and she showed us the reviews and all of them were five star Come on how happy are the customers that everybody is giving you a five star nobody gives you five stars huh even when you're very happy you end up giving most of the times four star everybody has given five stars so either there are five stars or there are one stars there is nothing in between one star and five star no two three four only one star and only five stars so this is definitely something fishy be careful about such reviews because these reviews are paid 
lot of reviews these days are paid review then i'm going to show you all those lavish presentations and pictures beautiful pictures don't fall prey to those nonsense shit this is just to fool you don't fall prey to these presentations they present in front of you then they have a habit of writing down a lot they will speak about anything they will write those words down even if she's saying a yes or a no she's writing down guess slash no what nonsense why are you wasting our time they use pen and paper to convince you these are psychological tricks in the end they will end up sharing stories the positive reviews of the customers and they are going to show you some pictures they've clicked with their customers they, these people can be just people who've taken money to get themselves clicked you always have a sense see trust your gut on these things your gut is not going to lie to you people will lie to you but your gut your inside here is going to tell you the truth always trust your gut on these things if there is a scamful setting your mind is going to make you aware don't neglect that voice be very careful about the money because money is your hard earned money the money you save is going to save you one day okay remember that whatever you save is going to save you one day uh, one more thing that happen would be a good sign would be that these people are not very well equipped they have a very um planned story everything right in place they will not take pauses they'll be very speedy with whatever information they have to deliver because they've rehearsed it so many times but if you ask them anything out of the way they'll get nervous they'll get confused they'll try to um, run you in circles in their stories it was something that made me angry because when people think that i'm stupid that is the time i don't like people i don't like people who think i am stupid but overall it was kind of a good experience for us because we learned something new that day maybe something like that has already happened with you just share it in the comments i'd love to hear from you thank you very much for joining me today i'll be back with more interesting content see you again soon bye